This was home to Luther Burbank, the modest white frame house in Santa Rosa, California, where he died in 1926. Today, it remains rich with memories and mementos of Burbank, the brilliant naturalist whose work with plants won him fame and high honors the world over. In 1917, after 16 years of work, Burbank walked among one of his new creations, a spineless cactus, which, since it grew without thorns, could be used to feed cattle. His was a busy lifetime of endless experiments, and now, after his death, the products of his research, like the spineless cacti, spring into life, as they will for all generations to come. The Burbank potato, grown in 1872, was his first important achievement. Here are seedlings, just like those from which, at 19, he produced his famous potato. Its almost perfect shape made possible uniform baking. Past the greenhouse, built a half century ago, an assistant walks toward the laboratory, where Luther Burbank carried on his experiments for so long. At the workbench, thousands upon thousands of new creations were born. Burbank's tools still hang on the wall nearby. His watch, magnifying glass, and homemade instruments are used by his successor, who sits studying one of the flowers picked for hand pollination. After carefully examining the center, he scrapes away the pollen, which fertilizes the seeds that reproduce the flower. The pollen is kept in a test tube for use in developing other varieties of flowers in future experiments. Next, the antlers are removed. Now, if another flower's pollen is applied, there will grow the seeds of a strain completely different from the original blossom. In applying the pollen, Burbank sometimes used sterilized cotton. He had to be certain to saturate the pistol, the tiny pocket where the reproducing seeds incubate. Burbank's favorite method was to use his sterilized fingertip. Thriving on the man-supplied pollen, the seeds grew until they were planted to bloom as a new creation. The Luther Burbank gardens are filled with the fruits and flowers and grains and grasses that made him the best-known plant originator in the world. Towering 100 feet, a majestic Lebanon cedar is his living memorial, for Luther Burbank lies buried at its foot. With all of nature as his laboratory, Luther Burbank brought new beauty and productivity to the milestones of the century.